Hi, I will be presenting a video on how to create a campaign on the Isoto panel. Let's start by understanding what a campaign is. A campaign is a communication sent to a set of users to achieve a certain business objective such as driving more sales or improving brand awareness. Navigate to the Send Notification tab on the left side navigation panel. You start by adding a campaign name, which is a mandatory field. This is not visible to your subscribers, but it is for your reference. The campaign name is also reflected in your Google Analytics account, so make sure it's unique. Next, we talk about the landing page URL. As the name suggests, it is the URL on which the user lands after clicking on the notification. You can use the Fetch button here to autofill the title, message and the banner image. Banner image displays a large image below the notification content for Windows and Android only and can be used to show the featured image of an article. You can upload the banner image manually from your device or use a URL to upload the same. Next, we talk about the icon. It is a small image that shows up next to the title and the body text which is reflected here. The icon is best used to place your brand logo. One of the most important parts of a notification are these buttons. They are the additional call to action button to help your user to be redirected to another page, say your newsletter page. You can use these buttons here to share the notification to social media platforms as well, say Facebook, Twitter or LinkedIn. You can add up to two buttons in a single notification. Next, we jump on to the advanced section. We talk about the badge, which is a monochrome icon used to give more information to the user, which is reflected here. You can set it as default. Next, we talk about the checkbox here to set notification to expire in. It is the time duration for which the notification would remain valid irrespective of the online or offline status of your device. You can select the time and date hours and minutes from here. Next, this toggle to make notifications sticky, when enabled, the notification would stay on your screen until the user interacts with it. It works on Chrome. Next, we talk about the UTM parameters. These are the tags added to URLs to measure the effectiveness of a marketing campaign. Using UTM parameters, you can track performance of your campaign, including number of clicks, and sessions against these tags in your analytics tools such as Google Analytics. Isoto allows you to automatically set source, medium and campaign parameters for all your push notifications, launch and action button URLs. The second aspect of your notification is to select the audience you want to push the notification to. You can send notification to all, that is all your subscribers or choose any predefined audience segment from the drop down here. You can create a customized audience according to your needs as well. We'll talk about it in the later videos. Next, you define the time of your notification. You can either choose to send the notification immediately or schedule one. We'll talk about the scheduling bit in later videos. I'll just show you how a notification would look like. Send, confirm and send. And I'll just wait for the notification to appear. Here it is.